Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Threads of Fate. Matthew124578 here. It's been like four months. Seriously, since I've done this game, it's been four months. And I think we're at the Underground Mystery. Yes, sir. Yep, a lot is, uh, a lot has been done over the past few months. Hey, Rue, how are you? I'm doing good, bitch. Um, a lot has been going on the past few months. So, I'm glad to come back with Threads of Fate. I got a few problems done with my computer. I got uh, all this shit done. I'm stopping Donkey Kong Country, uh, the let's play of it. Uh, I'll probably continue that some other time, but not not in the near future, guys, because... Yeah, we get a scene down here. Rue, thank heavens you're back. Yeah, we got back from the underground ruins. Remember that shit? Doctor, I'm sorry. What's wrong? Did something happen at the ruins? Um... So this Bell and Duke took it from you. Took the tiara from you. I'm sorry, I was careless. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I'm sure we can get back some other somehow. For now, let's do research on this cube. Looks like this will keep us busy for a while. You know, you came back at just the right time. I was I just found something about I just, I just found something very important. Found out something very important. Alright. Uh I'm done texting now. What is it? Shalen's texting me. <laughs> well, you know those materials we backed back from the Atelier? I looked through them while you were gone, and you're not going to believe what I found. The location of the relic. I know where it is. Really? Yes, there's no doubt. In fact, it's located very close to Corona. The relic is at the Lake Ruins. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, Alana told me about a lake. There's, there's a lake not too far from here with old ruins floating in the middle. Until now, nobody has a clue, or had a clue, who built them. Who would have thought that they were built by Aeons? So, that's where the relic is sealed? Yes, Elro was t trying to break the seal at the Lake Ruins. This cue was made for that very purpose. Then we can use it to break the seal at the Lake Ruins and get the relic? The theoretic theoretically, yes. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. We're definitely supposed to use this cube, the only question is how. Look at this thing. It's just a cubic block. There's no way to open it or do anything. Without some kind of instructions, I have absolutely no idea how to use it. But we're so close to getting the relic. Doctor, isn't there any way we can find out how to use the cube? Hmm. We could try asking her, but... Actually, I'd rather not deal with her. <laughs> Who is this person? Whoopi Goldberg. I mean, there's a magic... <laughs> There's a magician named Fancy Mel. She lives in an atelier beyond this forest. I honestly don't know how to describe her. She's just weird, I guess. So I'd rather try to stay away from her, if possible. Yo, do you want the goddamn relic? I don't, I don't think we have any choice. You're right, but you don't know her. She's so... If you go see her, you'll regret it, trust me. But unless we find out how to use the cube, we'll never be able to get the relic, you idiot. Doctor, please give me the cube. I'll go ask Fancy Mel. I'm sure we'll be able to find out more about it. Alright. I'm making you do so much, Rue. Much. Thank you, Rue. I'll give you directions to Mel's Atelier as soon as the. Uh, and also directions to the Lake Ruins. Alright, so this asshole is just like. I'm counting on you. This asshole's here judging people by their appearance. Which is not cool. You don't do that. Oh, Jesus, Elena. Hey! Where are you off to now? I'm going to Fancy Mel's Atelier. Your father told me that it's a re it's a really strange place. Do you know anything about it? Fancy Mel? Oh, the crazy witch, right? I know her place. Crazy witch. It's a very fun place. I'm sure you'll like it, Polly. What do you mean by fun? Tonight we are young. So we set Elena's house on fire. Not getting the relic, cause you're a bitch. So you run out the here, caught up, please. And the boss. Alright, alright. Uh, oh, you'll find out. <laughs> alright, bitch. Fuck you then. So a lot has happened since the past few months. I've got my driver's license. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not quitted McDonald's yet. Really, really soon. Hopefully, fuck's sake. 
Um, and just all this other good, good shit happening lately. Exams are... This is my last Let's Play part before exams, because I gotta study shit out of them. Hello, can I help you? We're gonna try to... Oh, we can't sell anything. We have no items to buy, we have 1800 Yeah. So, I don't know really what is there is to talk about. I've been gone for the past few months. Spyro, yeah, Spyro, the Let's Play in Spyro has been, um... Um... I don't know. Oh, what did I do? Go, oh wait, oh yeah, here's... Rue! Jeez, not her again. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Why do you care? What a fucking... <laughs> Gosh, you're so rude. Oh yeah, there's something I want to ask you. I heard you're not human. Is that true? Who told you that? You know that girl? Oh, like, oh fuck. Hello, Mint. You guys know each other? Since when? Oh. It's our little secret. You fucking faggots. Hey, Lynn, is he really a polywog? Yes, I saw him turn into a poly with my own eyes. This is getting ridiculous. So what is that, Roar? Are you a goofbug, Polywall, or what? Come on, you can tell me. It's none of your business. Hey, you're my rival, so it is my business. I don't have time for this. Ain't nobody got time for this. Ain't nobody got time for this. We don't got no time, no got no time. I got no time for all of this. Well, Mince being a bit of a nosy old bitch. Says, do you have, or are you a human or a Polywog? Polywog. Pilot said, oh, Lord, Jesus, it's mint. Then I ran, I ran to Mel's that and I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran with my life. And I got bronchitis. <laughs> Shoe, he's running, he don't got no shoes. Oh, he's got shoes on. What is this place? The doctor was right. This is really strange. Oh, shit, one of my buddies, uh, PSN things came up as online. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Oh, well. Yeah. So, uh, the cutscene was just basically, Oh my god, we know each other! Oh my god, we're so cool! Uh, what the heck? Is this a- f Is this Fancy Mel's Adler? It looks like a really dipshit. Oh my god, that, that actually looks kinda fucked up. My first time playing this game, I was just like, Holy shit, am I high? Yeah, that was pretty funny. What the? When you touch the door, it goes, Diddy! Looks like no one's home. Mel not home, you must wait. Congo? You can play while you wait. Congo? Aww. If, got, if any of you guys watch my Legend of Dragoon Let's Play, you know who Congo is. Come on, play my role. Giant balls, lots of fun. Maybe for you. I, I don't swing that way, asshole. Now, these min mini games are pretty shitty. Alright. You're gonna see how quickly these mini games are a pain in the ass. So. Side scroller for one. These enemies are worth a lot. When you sell them, they're worth a ton. And this could get really, really. I'm gonna. What I would suggest turning into this asshole, hit him with his own shit, then jump over that star, turn back to Rue, do it real quick, wait for the star. Oh, fuck that asshole. Alright, I'm gonna. Oh shit! I almost had a one go. Yeah, but these are ridiculously bullshit. I hate these. I always did. Thank God I'm a like threat fake genius, and I I know every thread of this game. I know every thread of threads of fate. Oh shit! Oh fuck! I hate this mission. All right, you don't even have to kill these assholes. You can just walk right through them. But uh, you know you can get money, and uh, right there. Oh, I jumped! If you heard that little <laughs> at the end, that was my throat. Just being a bitch to me. I always hated these, and I was never good at them. Even my first time, even to this day, I'm an, I'm an ex, I'm a genius at this game. Fuck, what was I thinking there? But no, I, I'm, I'm shitty at these. And this is the only thing I'm bad at in Threads of Fate. After this, it's just simple for me. The rest of the game's easy as hell for me. Um, I'm turning this purple piece of shit. Wait for the star. Do a lot of damage to you and your this creature, man. They do a fucking ton of damage. Alright, Rue, you're gonna have to hit this asshole to perfect time so you can get jumping distance for that horse shit. And you're gonna see me rage a lot because this is the. Oh, I hate this. I actually hate this. If my audio messes up, which it might, I'll be pissed. 
No, I think I can do this. Yeah, buddy. Oh, ho, ho! watch now. Oh, no. See? No chance in hell. No chance. Because you got no chance. No chance in hell. You've got no chance. No chance in hell. All right. You son of a bitch. Don't hit me. Oh, I fucked that up. Yeah. Jesus Christ. All right. At that at that time, I just gotta don't I I cannot be an idiot at that time because I it's concentration, and uh these enemies are gonna get me a fucking dumb a ton of gold at the end. These time bars, when you beat a mission, it'll be like all right you are the time okay, you you'll understand. I can get this just because I feel like it. Oh, you son of a bitch. You're a fucking asshole. Oh, I fucks you double sided. All right, all right. You wanna play that game, asshole? Come here. Come here. Oh yeah, and all you saying do a Mortal Kombat 9 let's play? Fuck you, that game is ridiculous. Um, I beat it on, oh, piss. I didn't beat it on, oh, boom! Oh, I was gonna hit that asshole. Alright, boom, right there. Jump, holy Jesus, that is not that easy, isn't it? Alright, alright. Uh, Mortal Kombat 9 let's play, I beat it on easy. Legit, I never beat it on medium. Beginner, I never beat it on beginner, like... Really. If you put a game to beginner, you're you're a terrible gamer. So I didn't put it to beginner as much as I wanted to. The game was freaking ridiculous. Um, no, but I am never, ever, son of a bitch, ever gonna let's play that game ever in my life. All right, I'm never. I'm not good at Mortal Kombat, by the way. If you see any of my, um, well, you know what? I'm good with a few characters. I'm, I wouldn't consider myself good at the game. Mortal Kombat 9, I'm terrible at because I can't be all the characters. There's only a few characters that, uh... Oh, that was, that was sweet. That, oh, you son of a bitch. That, uh, I can use. But there's a few that I can't stand. Like, uh, motherfucker, how did I miss that jump? Smoke, I can't stand. Sonya Blade, I can't stand. Katana, oh my god, no. Uh, I, I hate Scorpion. Sub-Zero for the win. Uh, I hate every Mortal Kombat character except for Raiden. Johnny Cage. <laughs> um... Liu Kang, and Cyrex, that's basically it. Boom! Yeah, buddy, alright. Shang Tsung, uh, I mean, he's not that much. He, oh, Shang Tsung. He's my favorite boss, put it that way. Oh, shit! Oh, look at me on it, look at me on it. There you go, that's the end of it right there. Alright, you see the time I got left? They give you a little bonus game, and that's the time you got left, the time, you, the remaining time you did the bonus stage. You get a time limit. But you gotta, you gotta, let me just explain what this one is. You gotta hit a bunch of assholes before they go under the floor. And if you hit them while their heads are showing, you lose points. Or you, they hit you or some shit like that. So you can use the triangle uh, attack, which is really good here. Boom! Boom! Oh yeah, boom! Now I'll win all three of these up. Oh, I messed up, see? Oh, what an asshole. Oh, this shithead. Boom! 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 Get to ya! Two of ya! Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, and I got the Metroid. Oh, you sons of bitches. Metroid uh, Echoes. Metroid Prime Echoes uh, recently. So you could see me doing a random bullshit or something like that. Oh, my God. I need 500 points to get a prize, but I'm not going to do that. I think if you get 250, you get a prize. Oh, come on. Two more. Two more. Shit. No, no. I need two. I need two. Yes! 260. I got a prize. Or I got a shitty prize. If you get 500, you get an amazing prize, but I'm not that good. A bronze coin, friggin' whoop de doo Jesus Christ. I could've bought 10- I could've- I could've bought one for 10 gold. This game's being a little bit of a bitch to me, I guess not. Alright, I guess, like, I guess I'll just do these and then I'll, uh, stop the episode there, because this is gonna take me the rest of the- <laughs> sort of half hour to do. This is ridiculously hard. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country versus was a fail, because me and Drew didn't, uh, the, we didn't have the proper technology for it. Oh, this shit. Oh, yeah, this is this is gonna piss me off right, right from the start. So I guess I can jump, jump, jump any woo. I jumped there, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn it. Damn. Alright, boom. This guy's an asshole. Later on, I might level my stuff up for uh, Let's Playing later on. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't want to waste a lot of time uh, let's playing when I have to study for exams, you know what I mean? Oh, this son of a bitch right here. Oh, good job. 
Oh, the colors are pissing me off. Like I can hardly see the damn screen. Do I have a remote? I need to dim the brightness down. Holy shit. There you go. I dimmed the screen down. Now I can see the blocks a lot better. Because when the blocks are all shit colors, I can hardly see the damn thing. So jump on the purple sh the, the pink shit. Boom! Boom! Oh, get the swing. Get the swing. Yeah, buddy. Jump over this asshole right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, this shit. Ah! <laughs> Alright, I got a, I got a strategy for this part because I did so many times as a kid. Oh, I screwed that up. <laughs> yeah, I got a strategy for that part. Don't worry about it. Right here. Boom. Kill him. Wait for the swing. Don't be a little bit of a fancy ass bitch about it. I might continue my Super Mario 64 uh, Let's Play. I love that. I love doing it. Um, Maybe the summer. Maybe the summer I have bullshit to do. Except when I have, you know, when I'm just driving around with the boys and working. I'll be good. I'll be settled. Now, uh, you might want to switch to this thing. So you can hit the triangle at these guys so they don't jump up and hit you. Because they will, those little things right there, those like, uh, the boys wearing the hats, these guys. They will jump up and, uh, they will kill you. And it, trust me, that's not fun. Holy shit. This is, this, these stages, man. Look at this shit. Trying to rush your ass. Look at a cloud. That cloud looks so shitty. Alright, that's the second stage. Done. There's three of these, by the way. So you just gotta go as quick as you can. You gotta pick up balls and get a point here. You can't pick up the black ones, and the more double ones you get, you get double points. Got it? Got it? Good. 500 points, big prize. 250, medium prize. Here we go. Alright, now I gotta pick up balls. Alright, oh, oh, oh. Oh, you son of a bitch. Alright. Wait. Oh, red. Oh shit! I got a red ball. Oh, this, these are these are shitty. I bought to, I, I bought Toma recently. Oh, I regret that. I, I regret playing that. You son of a gun. Yeah, Tomba Tomba's not that good of a game no more. Give me all the colorful balls, you son of a bitch. All right, there we go. Get the blue. One. Oh, come on, get the blue. One. Yeah, I got the blue ball. Get the blue ball. Yeah, buddy. All right, look at this shit. Oh shit. No. 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 Ah! Oh! Look. Oh. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Oh, 330. I got a bronze coin out of it. That was good. I got 330 points. I'm surprised. Because I thought I was going to screw that shit up. Big time. You can come back to this shit. And this is a safe spot. That parrot's a safe spot. Let's play Trumpets Blowing and Lots of Joy. Let's do it. I think we'll talk to Fancy Mel and then see what we can do uh, before we end off the episode. Because I want to fill up the half hour as much as possible. Yeah. All right. Let's see what I can do here. Look at this shit. Oh, this is this bullshit. Oh, when you jump on those things, assholes will uh, hit you with the trumpets and uh, holy motherfucker, just knock me down the hole. What an asshole. All right. Oh shit. Kill that asshole. I guess when you, I guess when you jump on these assholes, and then when you jump on this asshole, holy. Yep. Oh, what the. They put that way too. They they put that way too it. The development of this game is not as good as, as I expected it when I bought it last summer. You son of a bitch. Yeah. There's a there's a few platforms that are really hard to reach. They could have developed this shit better in the drum jumping coach. The jumping controls for Threads Fate is not as good as I expected. Cause as a kid, I didn't give a shit what the controls were like. I played the game anyway. I paid money for it. You know. I <laughs> I didn't give a damn if I, if I paid money for it. I was damn well playing. I didn't give a shit if it was Leisure Suit Larry or anything. I was gonna play that shit. You son of a bitch trying to screw me up like that. That was that was a good kill, I must say. All right, and now I gotta jump on these pieces of shit right here. You'll go through the shit. You will go through these damn platforms if you jump it a little wrong. I'm not joking. I'm not joking either. Oh yeah. Holy yes, yes. That's the third level, and I oh man. That was actually easy. These ones, you gotta jump on the uh, trumpets, and you gotta blow the cockoos away and shit. And when you blow the co when you blow the cockoos away, they leave. And uh, 500 points, you get a good prize. Oh jeez, I'm gonna screw this up. See, see, I mean, ah, oh, this is bullshit. Oh, damn it! Oh damn it! Oh shit! And if they stay there too long, you get an automatic game over, which is horseshit. Oh well, these uh, mini games are garbage anyway. I don't know what the boss from Soft or uh, Square Soft were thinking when they made that shit. All right, now Fancy Mail should be home now. 
Oh, she's right there. That's Fancy Mel. We're gonna talk to her, and we're gonna hopefully get some information on the relic. Hello there. I'm gonna turn up the brightness again. Actually, no, the colors look good. Hello there. What the fuck? <laughs> Rue's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Am I dreaming or what? I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Shit. Alright. What's wrong with you? Why are you looking at my me funny? Is there a booger on my face? <laughs> yeah, there's a booger there. Ruse, Ruse, Ruse. Yeah. Oh, there's a booger there. Oh, yeah. Huh? No, I'm... I was just looking at the, the fancy stuff you have. Are you Mel? Mel Gibson. <laughs> uh-huh. Some people call me Fancy Mel Gibson. Gotcha. Hello, my hello Mel Gibson. My name is Rue. I came here because I need your help. See, I'm making The Passion of the Christ 4. <laughs> and I was wondering if you have any good ideas for, uh, you know, the movie ideas? So, you want to break the seal at the lake ruins? Yes. We need to use this cube to do that. Can you please help us? Nope. What the fuck? What? Rue wasn't... Do you have any idea what you're dealing with? The relic is not your ordinary magic item. If you play with it... Poof. Gotcha. You okay? Scared the life out of me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I should lighten the mood up a little. You're so serious. But re but really, the relic is a very dangerous item. Many have pursued it and paid the price, some with their lives. Relics abound in this world, but the one you're seeking is Valen's relic. Valen. Valen, I've never heard of him. Why does that name sound so familiar? Wow, Valen, we're close to the end of the game if we're talking about Valen already. Valentine's Day. Uh, does that name not ring a bell? Obviously not. Why'd you ask the question then, you bitch? Valen was the most powerful Aeon. He could raise mountains and move the stars at will. No way. Tsunami's a storm. Who knows if it's true? Valen perished along with the other Aeons a long time ago. His demise is still a mystery. Some say he had too much power and destroyed himself. Really? I hope by now you realize how dangerous your pursuit is. Valen's relic embodies powers beyond our knowledge. Who knows what will happen if the seal is broken. Worst case, it might destroy the world. Holy shit. I don't care. This is 2012. I have no I have no choice. It's actually 2013. We survived 2012. Anyway, I've come this far. Spent every day for the last three years looking for the relic. I can't stop now. Aye, aye. Aren't we stubborn? Aye, aye, aye. Aren't we stubborn? Uh, oh shit. Full House comes on in a few minutes. I gotta... Wrap this shit up. Oh well, it's pretty obvious I can't talk you out of it. Okay, I'll help you. Give me the cube. Really? You're gonna go after the relic with or without my help anyway. So I might as well help. Yeah, you got that right, you Mel Gibson piece of shit. Not for free, of course. I'll help you if you help me. It's about Popple P Pearls. You played with them earlier, right? Popple Pearls? Oh, you mean those dwarfs? Yes, they're my cute helpers. They're ugly as hell, by the way. <clears throat> the four of them helped me around the Atler. I only played three games, though. Four? That's strange. I only saw three. One of them is missing. I sent him to go shopping, and he hasn't come back since. Shopping where? I don't think he went very far. I'm so worried about him. Why'd you, where, where'd you, where did he go shopping to in the middle of Corona? Holy shit. You want me to find him? Exactly. I'll examine the cube if you find him. Compared to looking for the relic, it's easy, right? Yeah. Come back here when you find him. By then, I should be done examining the cube. Thank you, bitch. <laughs> Wait. There's something I want to ask you. Go ahead, bitch. <clears throat> Do you have a condom on you? Never mind. <laughs> I'll save it for next time. Are you sure? Uh-huh. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye, Mel Gibson. That motherfucker's Mel Gibson, I don't give a shit. Now, right, what Mel sells, says here is really symbolic for the rest of the game right here. Rue, poor boy. He still doesn't have a clue. Uh, that's really symbolic because, uh, er, because she's just like, oh my god, he doesn't know what he's at. But Rue is just being a crazy ass and just going through, uh, 
trying to find the relic for his girlfriend, Claire, or his best friend, Claire. Duke, what's up, buddy? I'm a star, I'm a star. You fight him later on as a star, Duke. It's an easy-ass fight. I mean, the bosses in this game are ridiculously hard. Oh, shit, I'm only thinking... Like, you fight Duke, like, five jillion times, and all of his forms are hard as hell? Oh, shit, I'm only thinking of the hard ones now. Oh, my God, this is gonna be a ridiculous rage fest for me. Holy shit. Well, that's a big-ass bird if he's li lifting Duke. What up, Duke? What up? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Duke's getting owned by the bird. Now, let me just tell you one little thing. I'm gonna sell my uh, items first. My uh, killed. My I'm gonna sell the souls I killed, just like Hitler. Uh, oh, that was terrible. I take that back. Holy shit. Oh shit! I made a good two thousand dollars off it. Unlike Hitler, he made six million dollars off it. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's. Oh man, I feel like an asshole. Uh, the Popple Pearl we're trying to save is in the Corona Forest. So, we gotta go back to the Corona Forest. And, oh Jesus. Yeah, we gotta go back to the Corona Forest and we're going to uh, just run through it and hopefully see where the Popple Pearl is. I need to kill those assholes. The Popple Pearl should be where we fought uh, our last boss. E e e! Son of a bitch! Hey, it's those guys again. What are they up to this time? Huh? That kid? Yuck! Keep dirty hand away. Um, the hell? You calling me dirty? <laughs> you call you skeet? You better get get down and apologize, or I'm gonna hurt you real bad. I'm not sorry. You dirty. You stinky. Hey, he's a total squirt. Hey, you stupid or something? Shut up. You shut up, you little maggot! I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shut you up by chopping off that fungus head. I'm gonna shut you up by chopping that fungus head off yours. Eh, let's do it, bro. Teach him my lesson. This is Jersey Shore in 2001. Guidos are here. Knock it off. Power of words knocks him flat on his face. The hell? Who the hey? But bro, it's him. That polywalk. You're right. This is perfect. I've been dying to get even. Let's get him. Hey! Aw, oh, shit. Another boss battle against these pricks. Oh, this is gonna be ridiculously easy. Oh, Jesus. Just jump away and then step in and have a swing. You bastard! Alright, these guys are pissing me off now. They're not that hard, but I'm just being an idiot. You son of a bitch. You better piss off before I... Motherfucker. These guys are pissing me off now. Asshole. Alright, I gotta kick... Mother f Oh, what the fuck? If I die to these guys, I'm gonna be ashamed of myself. You prick! Oh my god. Beat him! Holy shit, I was close! Damn it, that's twice. She! Hey, hey, bro, wait for me! Cannonball! That, got, that, that, that bro is dead now. He's dead as shit. You, my lifesaver. Oh, hey, little guy. Are you, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. M Mel Gibson asked me to find you. She's really worried about you. Come on, let's go back to the house. I go, I go home by myself. What's your name? Rue. Rue, thank you. Bye bye, bye boy. He's a cute little thing. <laughs> that little cutie. Where he's like, oh, he's so adorable. Okay, that wraps up half an hour. It's getting late. I better head back to the town. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Alright, head back to town, and that's where I'm gonna save the game and. Oh, shit. Boz, I just gotta show you one thing. It's my favorite scene of the game. I have to show you now before it's too late. Oh, my favorite part of the game is right here. Wanna fight? How about tomorrow morning? Damn, boy. Go home and get some sleep. Oh, what? Does he tell you the story? Oh, he doesn't yet. He tells you a story about his life, and oh, it's, it's amazing. It's my favorite part of the game. Anyway, that wraps up half an hour of Let's Play Threads of Fate. Alright. Well. Oh, that's been half an hour. Shit. Welcome back. It's late. You should rest. Yes, sir. Alright, I'm gonna recover and register.
because recovering is good, even though I got my ass kicked by a bunch of fags. No offense to fags, that they're awesome. Alright, that has been an episode of uh, Let's Play Threads of Fate. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Threads of Fate, which might be in August. <laughs> I'm just joking, after exams, I'll be doing these up the ass. Thank you for watching, and have a good day, and have a good May. Have a, have a good May 2-4, drink some beer, have fun. See you later, guys. Drink some beer. Yay!